Olivia Wilde's latest film, Don't Worry Darling, initially had a lot of support from moviegoers and the Hollywood industry itself, especially coming off the back of her critically acclaimed directorial debut, Booksmart. However, as the movie got closer to its release date, negative stories began to surface. Usually with this kind of stuff, I don't buy into it. However, with this film, it has been different. We have seen public displays of bad chemistry between leading actors Harry Styles and Chris Pine, as well as Florence Pugh declining to do any publicity for the film as well. Due to these negative situations surfacing, I started to look a lot deeper into the behind the scenes of the film and the stories I found did not paint Olivia Wilde in a good light. I want to say I don't know any of these people personally, so I can't accurately judge them. So all of this is speculation of what I've been able to find through media outlets and on the internet in general. However, I do feel that from what I found on Olivia Wilde, she may have shattered her reputation within the film industry. First, it all started with the Shia LaBeouf situation. I have already made a video about this, so I won't dive into it any more than that, but if you haven't checked out that video, watch it, as it is quite interesting and wrong with how Olivia Wilde used Shia and manipulated the situation. But even after the Shia situation, there were reports coming out from the cast and crew suggesting that Olivia Wilde was quite unprofessional on the set, especially when it came to the relationship she developed with Harry Styles styles while filming the movie. They reported that during production, Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles began to get involved romantically and sometimes would disappear from the set together for hours, leaving the rest of the crew and cast lost and having to halt production just to wait for Olivia and Harry to return. There is no way to actually know if these reports are 100% accurate, but if they are, then that alone is enough to turn a lot of film industry professionals away from wanting to work with Olivia Wilde in the future. On top of these allegations are a lot more stories of Harry Styles having a bad work relationship with both Florence Pugh and Chris Pine, as well as other crew members, suggesting that Harry Styles wasn't very professional on set. Why this reflects badly on Olivia Wilde is because she chose the cast and crew for the film, and one of the major jobs of a director is to manage the cast and crew and make sure the environment is conducive to creating the best film possible. This, you could argue, is the most important job of a director, and when actors talk about the great directors, they always mention how professional they are and how good they are at creating a good environment and putting out fires on set. If this allegation and reports are true, then I couldn't imagine many workers in the film industry wanting to team up with Olivia Wilde in the future. I think this is a huge lesson for any aspiring filmmakers or creatives in learning how to manage people and put together a team. If Olivia Wilde could have just put together a team of people that worked well together, then all these negative stories wouldn't have existed, and the film would have definitely opened to a much warmer welcome than it has so far. This is a reason many creatives, especially in film, tend to work with the same people over and over again. Because while it does make it harder for aspiring creatives to break into the industry and it encourages nepotism, it is understandable and does allow for film sets to be a much more pleasurable environment for all as they know they can work together and get along. And in return, that will only benefit the film and allow it to be the best possible film it can be. If there is a lesson we can all as creatives and professionals take from this story is the importance of caring for others and thinking of others in your team. As I would argue Olivia Wilde focused more of her energy on the story itself, which is important, however the story can only be as strong and as good as the people telling it. As always guys, thanks for watching.